Hi, I just want to share to you how I uh, uh, work on uh, connecting a PL259 to a RJ58 coaxial cable. Okay. First thing that I do is uh, make sure that the uh, that the uh, sleeve is inserted to the coax before working on it. This is very important that you do not forget this. Okay, so the sleeve goes in first. After that, I am going to tin uh, uh, this adapter and the uh, uh, PL, main body of the PL. Uh, I'll make a thinning here in this area, this area here, and uh, here to prepare them for uh, soldering. So, okay, so there. So, I'm going to thin this one. After thinning this one, I'm going to thin this side, these two holes here, and the positive side of the PL by doing so here and here. Okay. So let's pause the video. Okay, done. So uh, as you can see, I have already thinned this area here with solder and also the other side for preparation and also I have uh, thinned this uh, area here a positive side I have also thinned the sleeve and slip it inside the coax okay so as you can see okay let me see if you can see well there it's thinned see all right there so that's my uh, preparation after that pause okay. so after that I splice my coax and then I separate the braid like so by using this um, like a pick so I just do this and separate the the braid so separate the braid from the center conductor and an inner conductor and the braid okay so I separate it into two like a bunch this is how I do it okay so let me see so there something like that and then I'm going to snip this off I'll, I'll cut this and then I'll come back and show it to you Okay, done. So I have uh, snipped it off. Look at this. This one and this section here. There. Using my ever so reliable China folding scissor. Okay. Then I'm going to push this adapter up and fold this back. Okay. Let me pause it and I show it to you. Okay, there. Uh, let's see if I can move this closer. There. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, adapt adapter sleeve, and then I'm going to fold the braid down. Oops, let me tighten this a bit. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring the braid down like so. Okay ready for soldering okay there you go okay. <clears throat> okay so let's do this solder it boom peel it there perfect clean solder on the braid okay then I will turn this and do the same thing 
on the other side okay there let's try to do this on this other side okay boom delete that's it Nagit korong nagit kamot ni Tarzan. Dan, give it a little more. Okay. Dan, okay, just a little bit trimming. Dan, perfect. Okay, so after soldering that, it looks like this. Claro ba? Oh, where, 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 where? Okay, there. Right. Next thing to do is splice off uh, the insulation on the uh, center conductor. Okay, there. So, uh, I've already spliced the uh, center. Now I'm going to soldered thin this also thin this okay let's thin this okay. Ooh. there you go perfect nice there, perfect okay there you go so it's thin and ready to be assembled this is the PL check again if you have the sleeve up oh, make sure double check because you do not want that you have already assembled everything and you forgot your sleeve okay so sleeve inside forget that and then put this in and assemble like so tighten A, sorry, pliers, like this, okay, that's, adjust this a bit, and, like that. there you go, there, okay, so, Diana, there, so, you can see there is a uh, extra uh, wire uh, beyond the tip of the PL so I just cut this off using my small pliers there oh okay and then ah, sorry so there it is Doki, solder, solder. There you go. Perfect. Perfect solder. There. Before I proceed with um, uh, soldering this side, so that uh, the, the, the purpose that I need to solder this negative side is so that it will also help retain. The sleeve from from loosening so if I have a solder here it will um, hold the retainer from loosening if I do not solder this this retainer in time will loosen and then it will break your center conductor okay so now before I proceed I will have to check if um, the connection is good and if there is no ground Okay, na imong kontra ang ground. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, so check. All right. Good. Let's try. If there's any ground? Nothing. So it's clean. There, it's clean. See, 
moves here it's clean let's look at the other side and see if there is continuity from here to the other end okay okay so this is the other end let's try okay negative side with the negative okay good positive nothing so now let's try to pull this on the oops a little bit difficult to do this huh? hmm. okay this one here and the other is here okay oops oops okay there you go so positive and positive nice positive and negative nothing negative and negative nice all right so it looks okay so we'll just finish this off by soldering this and then we are done okay. um, actually I do not have to do both sides I can just do one one side and should be done because this will just hold the uh, the adapter sleeve from the main body keep it from turning okay whoa 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 okay let's do this let's clean the tip we'll go tip okay position position Because I have already thinned this earlier before I started working, it's easy for me to solder because it's already thinned. Whoa, will be a kuruks kamote. Yep. Perfect. There. Okay. There. 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 So, there. Enough. Done. Finish. Wipe. Done. So, I have uh, soldered this side to keep this, to retain this one. from Keep this from turning. Okay, done. Uh -huh. So, there. Done. Finish. So, I hope it helps and give you a little bit of idea on how I do, uh, how I solder my PL259 to my uh, RG58 coax. 73 to all. Enjoy ham radio and stay safe.